today I'm going to show you um, how to run VMD uh, remotely, assuming that you are using a Mac OS and you want to uh, you have some data, you have done some simulation on a supercomputer, uh, which you access to it remotely, and uh, you want to uh, visualize your molecular data, but you don't want to uh, to download all of your data, which could be huge depending on the type of the simulation that you are doing. Uh, so you want to basically access uh, to run the VMD uh, from the uh, on, on the supercomputer and visualize them while their data the data are still on the supercomputer. So for this to run any software on the supercomputer interactively uh, using a, a GUI, you will need to first uh, connect to the supercomputer using X11. Uh, X11 option and one thing that happens so uh, you need to first install X quads on your Mac system and I I'm gonna tell you uh, something before proceeding to the uh, rest of the uh, rest of the video if you are using Windows you should be fine uh, if you use mobile mobile XTERM, mobile XTERM. and then uh, let me let me type it here for you so uh, if you are using uh you can download uh mobile xterm for windows and you can use mobile xterm you can download from here and uh, for ssh tunneling uh to your server up uh, to your uh, supercomputer and then mobile xterm will take care of everything but you still need to use uh, SSH minus X and uh, your username at the supercomputer uh, server, and then mobile XTERM will be fine. You can use mobile XTERM. You should have you should have no problem. But for Mac, uh, for Mac, you will need to first download X Quartz. You can download it from xquartz.org. You download this package and you need to install it. And basically, when you uh, download and install it, you will need to restart your system for this package to work properly. I have already downloaded this and installed this package. So uh, when you downloaded it, you can check uh, if it is working using by using the command X clock. And you see the X clock displays here. But there is one problem uh, if you wanna run VMD. And the problem is that if you wanna run VMD, uh, you can do X clock. So uh, let me show you something. But the thing is that the OpenGL on VMD will not display data. You can open the VMD interactively, but it will not just show the information. It will not show the molecules. So how to solve this problem? First, you open X clock like this, and then you will find out what is the version of uh, your X clock, X cards. You can go to help and or uh, about uh, X quart, about X11, and you will see that the version, uh, for example, the version that I have installed is 2.8.2. And then depending on the type of uh, version that you are using, you will need to run uh, one of these commands on the um, on the terminal, so in the terminal. So uh, let's first cancel this X clock. So if you're uh, running the version X quad 2.8 or later, which uh, is, is our case, you need to copy paste this command in your terminal. So we can do this and you should be fine. This will enable uh, IGLX, which, uh, which is the renderer uh, for OpenGL. Otherwise, if you're uh, running the X quads, which is uh, the version 2.7.x or earlier, you can use this command instead. Now let's, uh, we will need to connect to the supercomputer and you should use the dash X command to enable X, X11 forwarding.
then uh, here you load your VMD module on a supercomputer and run VMD. And of course, you see you can see the VMD, all the graphics they display uh, interactively. If you don't do uh, this command, if you don't do this command, even if you have installed uh, X quartz, you can still load the VMD, you can still open VMD interactively, but it will not show that any display. That's it. So you don't see anything. It's just it's just be white. And so that's it. You will need this uh, to run VMD interactively and uh, by enabling the OpenGL display. Thank you.